Hi, welcome to CapeCast. I'm Connie Barron, Public Information Director for the City of Cape Coral, Florida. Here is your three-minute news update for the week of July 6, 2015. City Council is still on break, but they will return a week from Monday on July the 20th. In the meantime, the city manager will be releasing his proposed budget that will occur on Wednesday, July the 15th. Now, we did get some good news from the property appraiser when he released his final values on July the 1st. Our taxable values went up 7.75% here in the Cape. It's up from the 6.01 estimate on June 1st. It gives us about $1.2 million in additional revenue at the lower proposed millage rate. It's a three-year rolling budget, but council only adopts the first year. There will be public hearings on September 10th and September 25th, so we hope you can attend. There are four council seats up for election this year, and today the qualifying period for candidates closed at noon. Congratulations to District 5 Councilwoman Raina Erbrick. She earned a second term as she was unopposed this year. The other districts did have multiple candidates. In District 2, Michael Boglioli, John Cariosha, Kirk Lagrasta, and Richard Rapaski are running. In District 3, Chris Camerata, Jerome Doviak, and Marilyn Stout are the candidates. And in District 7, Timothy Barrier, Jessica Cosden, and Samuel Fisher will be competing for that seat. We will have a council candidate debate that we hold each time we have uh, local elections here. It will be on Cape TV Channel 98. It's Thursday, September 3rd at 7 p.m. It's 90 minutes in council chambers. You can also watch it live on streaming www.cape-tv.com. You will be able to watch replays during the week of September 7th to the 13th and we'll have those dates and times later. Paving in the South Cape starts July the 13th. That's the area map right there. You can't see it that well, but the north boundary is Miramar, the south boundary is El Dorado, the east boundary is Del Prado, and the west boundary is Coronado. So those little green lines on those streets, you're getting new pavement. There'll be free parking at the city boat ramps on July the 25th and 26th. It's part of Parks and Recreation Month. The boat ramps, BMX, Burnt Store, Horton Park, Rosen Park, and Yacht Club will have free parking there. And finally, Code Compliance is looking for some volunteers. They're looking for some administrative support. If you're interested in volunteering, please call Code and call Carol at 574-0624. That's your three-minute news update. I'll see you next time on CapeCast. Have a good week. Have a good weekend.